Welcome back everyone to the Hello World guys, this is the second episode of our Mario in SSML series using C++ and in this video we are going to uh, actually start creating the Mario class which is going to hold the character. So in the last video remember if you uh, remember then we uh, created this character class which was basically an abstract class which contained the basics for which each character would have. So uh, now we are actually going to create a class called Mario that's inheriting from this so I'm going to right click here hit add and hit add a class and for the name of the class we are just going to say uh, you can call it player or whatever you want I'm going to just say Mario and for the base class I'm going to say character uh, character like that and make sure that the access is public and uh, uh, other options you don't need to do any of that so just hit ok and it should automatically create the uh, stuff and I'm also going to open a mario.cpp and save that uh, and go in here so in here essentially I'm going to uh, go ahead and create uh, like a public tag here and uh, after that I'm going to create a void update and we are going to mark that as override because this is supposed to override the method you don't need to add this override but uh, uh, we are going to add that just to be explicit and uh, you can go ahead and just uh, press alt and enter and go ahead and say create definition of update in mario.cpp and it is going to automatically create that now we are also going to add the draw function similarly but we are obviously this function is going to take a sf column column render window call window as an argument and we are going to go ahead and similarly create the definition of that in mario.cpp as well so we have got these two functions here but obviously currently nothing is changed because uh, we don't do anything in the main.cpp file so in here we need to create a way to uh, kind of display all of the stuff and uh, handle those in a nice manner so how are we going to do that well uh, in order to do that the most efficient way would be to since we have created a characters a spe uh, special character class we can essentially create an array of characters so let me go ahead and uh, hashtag include uh, the vector here so i'm going to include vector like that and go ahead here and i'm going to create an std colon colon vector and this vector is going to be of type character so i'm going to say here character like that and uh, we are going to call this uh, uh, characters of the game so this will basically represent all of the characters now currently we have obviously not uh, included the character so just go ahead and say hashtag include character dot h and uh, like that it is going to work uh, you want to uh, make sure here by the way that the render window is taken as a uh, this and uh, symbol after that because it want to take this as a reference and in here we are essentially going to uh, basically go ahead and add this for loop here which is, will uh, loop over each of the characters and then draw the uh, character according to the window and uh, b uh, in here you can do a similar thing but we are going to use the update method to do this so we are going to say update and in here instead of saying window we are going to give it no uh, anything here so that is essentially going to be it now obviously currently our characters uh, vector is empty so we are going to go ahead and say characters uh, dot push underscore back and we cannot create a c character here because obviously character is a mm, uh, it's a uh, abstract class so you need to we are going to create a variable of type mario so we are going to go ahead and say mario here and we are going to go ahead and uh, do it like this uh, okay like that so we are going to say mario and uh, uh, in here we you can see we have got uh, so we say that the identifier mario is uh, not defined so we go just go ahead and uh, uh, hashtag include mario.h i guess hashtag include uh, mario so go ahead and say mario.h and this is going to uh, yeah it's an abstract class wow uh okay okay uh, the reason it was not working is because we need to add and here okay so that works so uh with that done we have got one mario here which is going to update now for in order to check what we can do is we can essentially go here and uh, uh each time that this runs we can go in the update method and we can go ahead and say something like uh, uh, first of all let's go ahead and include io stream here include io stream io stream like that and we can go ahead and say std colon colon c out and you can basically see something like uh, say something like hi i guess uh, here which you just check if the thing is working so say hi and we are going to go ahead and start the game and see if it is working or not so as soon as the, this uh, whole thing starts okay it gives us an error if it cannot instantiate uh, okay wow uh, it's causing a little bit of problem because uh, 
uh, it seems like that it's trying to instantiate a character class even though that is an abstract class now the problem with this is that you can actually not create a ve uh, vector of uh, an abstract class because the vector needs to instantiate stuff so what you can do is you can create a vector of pointers to the class and you should use pointers by the way so just go ahead and choose pointers and in here instead of saying mario we are going to use new mario which is going to create a pointer so we're going to do like do it like that and e and in here we are going to uh, go ahead and go, uh, go ahead and say character pointer uh, like that and in here we are going to do this as well and uh, uh, you want to replace this sign with an arrow sign if you want to actually uh, deal with pointers so that is essentially going to do it and since this pointer is automatically work by reference so that is uh, pretty awesome so now we are pretty much got uh, the basic thing done and what you should see is that we get our update function running and it does say hi as the game runs so once i start actually what you should see is that it's saying hi continuously now that's pretty much it for this video and in the next video we are going to start implementing the actual mario and the movement system for that so make sure to stay tuned for that i will see you in the next one make sure to like and subscribe as well and bye